it's time to dish with D. That's me. Thank you for coming on this video. How would you like a little mini prep? Would you like to see me make two versions of zucchini bread? Buckle up and let's get started. In our bowl, we have a quarter cup of old fashioned gluten free oats. You can use any oats you like. Quick oats would work as well. I'm going to add a quarter cup of shredded zucchini that I have drained between some paper towels so it's not quite as wet. It's going to be wet because it is what it is. Tablespoon of brown sugar substitute. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Teaspoon of baking powder. Or close to a teaspoon. It doesn't always have to be a whole teaspoon. It's not a lot of bread. So salt. Quarter glug. I'm going to put some egg whites. I don't have any egg whites, so I'm just going to use an egg that I scramble because I'm pretty low on eggs here. So put in two tablespoons of egg or egg white. And some unsweetened applesauce. Uh, let's say a quarter cup. Measure it out. And some cinnamon. My cinnamon was just here. Well, we'll find her. Let's just mix this up first. Make sure I have enough wet ingredients. Now this zucchini is going to give off more juice when it's baking, so I'm not really worried about it right now. We're going to make two kinds of zucchini bread. This zucchini oat bread, and we're going to make a zucchini bread with flour. Because maybe you don't like oat bread. Yeah, now let me grab my cinnamon. Just a little shake. Just a little bit in the background. We don't want to be all about cinnamon. We're going to bake it in our mini loaf pan for about 20 to 25 minutes at 375. You want to add some nuts, you can. If you want to add some lilies, you can. That's a zero point amount. You absolutely could put a point's worth on here. It's up to your prerogative. Add as many as you like. And we're going to go baker in the oven. Zucchini bread number two. We're using flour. Now you can use regular all-purpose flour. I am using gluten-free flour. We all know why, but <laughs> you could use all-purpose flour. It's, it's all good. So I'm going to add some baking powder. And for gluten-free, I have to add some xanthan gum as a stabilizer that's what i read anyway so that's what i do and it does help so if you're a gluten-free person and you try using some xanthan gum in your bread just a quarter of a teaspoon all right salt salt gloves. I don't really measure my salt. Let me get that combined. Well, all right. Uh, same thing with the applesauce. We're doing the same recipe we just did, pretty much. Vanilla, applesauce, egg two tablespoons of egg product i'm going to use an egg egg white and a full tablespoon there we go it's a low budget production here uh we want some trivia 
brown sugar. Again, you don't have to put brown sugar in there if you don't want any sweetener. This is your bread. So I did, like I said, zucchini, you have to shred it and then try to dry it between two paper towels to get it as dry as you can. It's never going to be perfect, quite honestly. So cinnamon, I didn't put the cinnamon in, what do with the cinnamon? It's just here, here it is. All right, combine well. And if you want to add more zucchini, you probably could. I don't. I don't want it to be overly zucchini. -y. <laughs> I think I just made that up. But it's like a nice little quick bread with zucchini in it. And I like leaving the green on. I like seeing the flecks of green in my zucchini, but you know, you don't have to, you can peel it. Okay. Let's grab our prepared pan, same thing. Now, if you wanted to make little muffins with this, you could. Big muffins, little muffins. You could probably triple, double, triple the recipe and get a dozen muffins. So I'm just surmising. Bread. About all out. I like Lily's chocolate chips again. That's totally optional. You don't have to put it. Nuts, if you choose. Because really, the, the points are sickening low in this, so you absolutely could jazz it up a bit if you wanted. Bake it for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. And then we will come back and I will show you the finished loaves. All right, there's the finished zucchini oat. And there's the finished zucchini with flour. Two of them, you just have to count the oats in this one and the flour in that one. So I believe there are three, three points for the flour, two points for the oats. So not a bad deal for bread. Now they're very, like I said, they're very delicate, but you know, this one's, the oats a little bit more delicate than the one with the flour. So we're going to have a taste. You also absolutely could make flour out of oats. You know, that might be an interesting concept, but we're going to have a little taste of each one. I'm going to give you my opinion. My favorite part of the video is when I get to taste. Because, you know. We want to see the reaction. There is the oat one. See, it's much more delicate than the flour one. At least it looks that way. But it still holds together. I think it's a little bit more of breakfasty with oats. You could peel the zucchini if you didn't want to see the green. Mm. That's really good. This will make a great breakfast with a little bit of maple syrup. Got your veggies. Got your good carb. So I think it's a good thing. Mm -mm. That should be good. Okay. Let's try the bread with the flour. Love that chocolate chip. Can you see that? Like I said, it's holding up. This is gluten-free flour. I didn't give you the recipe for gluten-free flour. I gave you the recipe for recipe for regular flour. This reminds me of like a pancake almost. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a dirty job I have here, but absolutely yummy. This one's more cake-like. So this would be more 
dessert breakfast. So yes, you can definitely swap out, put the oats, be it more of a breakfast bread, and then use the flour for more of a dessert kind of with a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, a little after dinner. You want to put a glaze on this? Why the heck not? It's good. It's a nice little cake. Who we had cocoa? Maybe we could add a little tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder into this. You would have to add a little bit more sweetener because I think it would need that. Keep eating, D. I I will. So that is it for this quick little little foray into zucchini. I've been, people have been asking me about zucchini, but zucchini, but zucchini, but I keep sharing my own recipe. So I put this this version on the new website, dishwithd.com. Just same one at dishwithd.org. Same one, but this way it's updated with pictures and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy this quick little bonus little recipe video for you guys. I want to enjoy the rest of my bread. I will dish with you another day. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoy these, let me know with a big old thumbs up. Do you miss the cooking videos? If you miss them, if you miss the meal prep Sundays, let me know in the comments. I've had people mention to me, where's your cook, you know, where's your um me meal, I don't know what we call them. Cook with these and your, what's the cooking and your, you know, prepping. And I've so I took a kind of a, you know, a little sabbatical from it, but should we bring it back? I don't know. Recipes like this, why not? Let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, join us here. Just with you later, Gators.